This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention.info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. The charts, because I was looking at the percentage of minorities that we have in New Hampshire. I think that is increasing somewhat, which gives us some more. Now, I want to point out a couple of things by way of full disclosure. It looks like I have sort of I have sort of, um, what's the right word, I have probably skewed the makeup of Group C quite a bit, partly by accident. Part of this was that I asked to be in Group C because I, I had permission to film someone there already. Uh, then I asked um, a lady who I recognized who I thought might raise some questions. And I told her, if you want your questions filmed by me, then you'll need to be in Group C. But this is partly because they've asked me not to jump from group to group, so they've sort of forced my hand a little bit. Um, but on the other hand, I do want to make sure you understand this group is probably not going to be super representative of the others. It's going to be more biased toward the skeptics than the average group in here. Because so it's got me in it, plus the lady who I told I was going to be there, and then there's another lady who's, uh, I guess, more of a random skeptic who just happens to be there. I think everyone in that group uh, has given me permission to film them, or has at least obviously not objected. Uh, and um, something else I wanted to mention. I have to admit that thus far, uh, for a federal program, this is fairly transparent. And if it's fascism, it's pretty soft fascism. Uh, I have not received any kind of uh, what I would call inappropriate resistance from the operators of this event. Like a lot of times I'll go to something and everyone's trying to put the camera, you know, put the hand over the camera, punching the camera or, you know, stopping me from filming. I'm not getting any of that here. So these folks, so far, it seems like they have got a very good PR um, approach. And, and by these folks, I mean, and this is what I don't like. Granite State Future, NH Listens, um, I guess HUD, uh, representatives of regional planning commissions. It's this real mishmash that's organizing these things, it seems like, which really makes things complicated. When you say waterways, access to water or water? Well, on the ground? what I'm, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is water. that uh, I've been to a lot of these uh, water meetings in Concord in um, the commission meetings, which um, Governor Lynch set up in 2011. I went to a lot of meetings. And the main thing is that they want to regulate water, but they also want to go up on your property and where your wells are and regulate that also. So that's a very big concern for me. That's in Congress or statewide? That will be statewide, actually. Statewide. Um, focus area three starts on page 14 and goes to page 17. My, my impression from this roughly 12 page uh, sort of document that they've handed us to kind of get the debate going is that the, the questions seem to be biased towards environmental concern, uh, uh, commuter, commuting, you know, mass transit type agenda might be too strong a word, um, population concerns, and of course it seems like the direction is to talk about declining population, whereas of course if this is a left-leaning group, you know, a few years ago the concern would have been increasing population. <laughs> um, Maybe you have to go back 30 years for that, but... So as is sometimes the case, when government people kind of get a lot of things right, uh, I'm left just raising concerns about the funding mechanism. And that is a huge concern. I don't know how much this costs federal taxpayers, but I do know that when babies come out of the womb, they're handed a $50,000 debt bill, you know, the minute they arrive. Even if this is fairly benign by federal standards, can we afford it? At least no one's trying to stop me from being here and asking. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not showing you more of this breakout session itself, uh, it, the fact is I can't really hear very well what anybody is saying. There's almost nothing really very interesting being discussed so far in, the, in, in, the, in my breakout session. 
Is it designed to be a little bit boring? They've certainly achieved their goal of having a civic discussion and bringing together people of all different persuasions, opinions, and walks of life. Although, I will say, there are no young people represented here today. And that's why you young folks have drinking laws to contend with. You don't fight for your civic rights. Thank you.